Hi guys, Ollie here, welcome back. This is gonna be a really quick look over what I've seen and the sorts of things that I've been doing on my maternity placement, uh, which actually finished yesterday. So at Warwick, in your second year, as part of general surgery block in CCE1, you spend five days doing labor and maternity. So I spent two days with community midwives in the kind of Coventry area. And that actually involves going to see patients in their homes or in the community. So it might be in uh, health centers or clinics that are run at schools, things like that. So outside the hospital, they come and see the midwives to discuss their pregnancy and how their babies are getting on. And then I spent three long days. So they started at 7.15 a.m. and officially were supposed to go to 8.15 p.m. We weren't always there kind of right till the end, but maybe six, seven o'clock. Um, they are long days, but that's actually spent on the labor ward itself and in the labor unit. So community first, I would go with one of the midwives from the hospital. We would go to patients' homes in the morning and it would be either examining the ladies um, who were due to give birth, so checking how their pregnancies were going. I had a, a chance to kind of palpate their tummies and try and find out the the orientation, the lie of the baby, um, and measure things like symphysiofundal height, uh, measure blood pressures, just check that the mums are okay before they're due to give birth. Or the other things we might do are examining um, newborns and just checking that the parents are adjusting okay, so that um, might do heel prick tests uh, to check the baby for certain conditions. Do things like weigh them, check they're not too jaundiced, check their bowel movements are going okay. And just basically it was a, a chance to spend lots of time with some very, very cute and very, very tiny babies. Then in the afternoon, we would go to one of the local health centers and there would be antenatal clinics. So again, similar kind of thing, um, mum or mum to be, uh, would come in, just basically have a chat about how things are going, um, whether their their OBS are normal, so their blood pressure, uh, temperature, things like that would be checked if they needed to. They'd be booked in, in some cases, um, for the actual delivery. They'd do things like talk about anything that might be difficult, so if the mums had uh, any previous children, whether they were vaginal or C-section. Might do things like calculate uh, mum's BMI, might also discuss the results of any screening tests, um, things like Down syndrome, Edwards syndrome, discuss maybe why a caesarean might be needed, check the urine for protein, you're, you're looking out for warning signs of preeclampsia. Basically a whole lot of stuff happens that isn't done by doctors, it's done by midwives, and I'm really glad that I got the chance to see it because I just wouldn't normally unless I was on um, specifically a gynae clinical placement. And I was just observing in those clinics, but I, you know, I had the chance to talk, um, to talk to the mums and just do things like manual blood pressures and just the routine stuff um, that the midwives all do every day. But, and it was a bit of a novelty for me to do it with an actual patient and it keeps my skills up for the OSCEs. But then Friday, Monday and Tuesday, I had the long days um, on the wards. So I was split over the labor ward where the mums were that were either waiting to give birth they might have come in to be induced or once they'd had the baby they'd then be brought back up to the ward from the labor unit and just you know spend a couple two three days recovering and just making sure that everything's okay the baby's feeding well so the sorts of things i've done on the wards things like we attended team meetings so we can see both how midwives manage their own patients within themselves and then how the obs and gynae doctors manage patients because medically managed pregnancies tend to be those that are more complicated, whereas most routine deliveries are midwife led. And both teams are very, very good at kind of doing what they individually do. So we got into surgery a few times. I think on the Friday, in fact, we saw both a vaginal delivery and a caesarean section. So we got to see a bit of everything on that first day. And I must say, at least obviously speaking from a, a male perspective where I don't have to push something that size out of me, but the C-section looked, you know, at least in my very humble opinion, um, it was done very kind of cleanly and it was, oh, baby's here now and everyone's happy and smiling. Whereas the vaginal delivery looked very traumatic. 
but again everyone was happy afterwards so I guess everyone's a winner. We also got the chance to shadow um, the SHOs and the paediatric registrars doing what they do so that was examining the newborn babies, things like checking their heartbeats and their lungs, weighing them, um, using a kind of special oxygen sats measuring probe thing which you have to put on their foot and then on their arm and checking their pupillary responses and things like that. And then on my last day, we were actually meant to see some more gynae surgery, but the operation kept getting pushed back because there were emergency general surgery cases that kept coming in. And I ended up, instead of seeing um, the gynae stuff, I saw an exploratory laparoscopy, which became um, a full laparotomy. And then the gynae case got pushed back uh, so far that I couldn't actually see it in the end. <laughs> But again, the key thing on this placement, as with all the clinical contact I've ever had um, so far, is that it's really made by members of staff that are used to it. So the midwives or um, the anaesthetists or the surgeons really looking after us as medical students because we're pretty awkward and it's quite clear that we don't really know what we're doing or what we're meant to see. So just having someone, um, particularly the midwives, we're kind of more... Uh, medical people kind of intruding on their territory because obviously everything's midwife led there but everyone was really really lovely and very welcoming and it's been a really really good albeit short um, experience and I feel like I've learned a lot. The sorts of things that you might see if you come to Warwick and you do your labour placement as part of the general surgery block. Thanks very much for watching. Please be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and don't forget to go and check out postgradmedic.com for more blog entries just like this and helpful videos and tips on making your way into medical school in the UK. Take care and see you next time.